Hey guys, welcome back to a really quick Ninjago news update here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we have ourselves some news regarding the Ninjago Dragons Rising Summer 2024 wave of sets, or more Season 2 sets, more accurately. Now, a few weeks ago, we talked about a set list for the summertime of 2024 that was extremely vague with only prices and piece counts, but now we have an updated list of sets featuring names. Now, I'm not so sure if these names are final. Again, like a lot of other Ninjago leaks out there, take this information with a very heavy grain of salt. Things are subject to change. But as of right now, this is what we can expect for the summer of 2024. So starting off with set number 71816, that is called Zane's Bike. Again, names subject to change. With 84 pieces, this one will retail for $10.99 US. I think these are US prices, uh, considering that they have have the dollar sign next to them so I'm assuming that's 1099 USD sounds like a small bike for Zane might not be all that significant the smallest set of the wave if you will uh, then we have set number 71818 again skipping a set number there this one is tournament arena with 659 pieces retailing for $49.99. Uh, tournament Arena. <laughs> Not really sure what this could be. Uh, my first thought was, well, obviously the Tournament of Elements, right? But remember, this is for Dragons Rising Season 2. These are not like for Ninjago Legacy or anything like that. So Tournament Arena could be anything. Like I said, these names are subject to change. Next, again, skipping a set number, we have set number 71820, Ninja Combo Vehicle. Uh, with 576 pieces, apparently retailing for $89.99. That seems a little bit too expensive considering the total amount of pieces that we get here. Uh, now, we've had rumors previously of there being a new Ultrasonic Raider vehicle for the Summertime Wave. Maybe this Ninja Combo vehicle is the Ultrasonic Raider, just rebranded, retitled. Maybe it's going to be inspired by the Ultrasonic Raider. I have no idea. It certainly doesn't seem as big as previously previous Ultrasonic Raider sets, so I guess do with that what you will. Uh, then we have set number 71821, Cole's Titan Mech. Uh, with 1,055 pieces retailing for $129.99 or $130 USD. Uh, Cole's Titan Mech sounds like simply a massive mech for Cole, which we really haven't seen a huge mech for Cole since the Ninjago movie, unless I'm forgetting about something. I don't think I am, though. Uh, and previously, we've had, you know, Lloyd's Titan Mech, Zane's Titan Mech, Jay's Titan Mech. I guess now it's Cole's turn to get the Titan Mech treatment, and that will be in the summertime for 2024. Sounds awesome as a huge Cole fan. This set is more or less a guaranteed purchase for me. Uh, then we have finally set number 71822, Source Dragon of Motion, with 1,716 pieces retailing for $149.99 or $150 USD. Now, with that being said, this set right here more or less has just been revealed to be the massive Source Dragon set that we've been hearing rumors about for months now, and that means that when you take a look at the previous set list, the $250 set, that is not going to be the Source Dragon. Instead, the $150 set is the Source Dragon, but set number 71814, that is still a mystery. Again, I still think it could be a new Ninjago City expansion, only time will tell. Anyway, going back to this list, uh, Source Dragon of Motion, is Motion gonna be a new elemental power? I mean, we've had stranger powers before, I guess. Motion could be like kinetic energy buildup or something like that. I, you know, science and stuff. Um... Source Dragon of Motion, or, you know, the name could be, you know, something different. Maybe this is a mistranslation or something similar. Again, these names are subject to change, but Source Dragon of Motion, aside from being just a gigantic Source Dragon, I don't know what else that could be. Uh, I guess leave all of your guesses down below. What do you think of the uh, Motion power? 
thing. I don't know. I'll probably do a video about that later on. Maybe that was Zeatrix's power from Dragon's Rising. Who, who's to say? But overall, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts on the leaked uh, summer 2024 set wave. Again, names, piece counts, prices, all of that is subject to change. So keep that in mind. This is definitely not final. And we are still missing a couple of sets too. So stay tuned for updates. As soon as I know, I will let you guys know as well. Uh, in the meantime, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Leave all your thoughts down below. Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.